Offer your hand, as I showed you. Earnshaw named him Heathcliff. Kathy was drawn to the silent, self-possessed boy. But it was hardness, not gentleness, that kept him silent. Nothing here belongs to you. Not now, not ever. From the very first, Heathcliff was more Cathy's brother than Hindley. Like all wild things, she shared with him a love of the open moor, the rock, and the lowering skies. A merciful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Though Heathcliff became Mr. Earnshaw's favorite child, his protection was limited by the length of the old man's life. Who hath also taught us by his holy apostle St. Paul not to be sorry as men without them, for them that sleep in him. Grant this, we beseech thee, O merciful Father, through Jesus Christ. Amen. Your quarters are in the stables from now on. Shaker stood and cried with a loud voice in the Jews' language, Hear ye the words of the great king. Hearken not to Hezekiah, for thus faith the king of Assyria make an agreement with me by a present, and come out to me, and eat ye every one of his vine, and every one of his fig tree, and drink ye every one the waters of his own cistern. <laughs> Till I come and take you away to a land like your own land, a land of corn and wine, a land of bread and vineyards. Beware, lest Hezekiah persuade you. What, done already? When Father was alive, we could play on Sunday. Why not let them be, Hindley? You put these two down to their scriptures. Be sure to examine them on it this time. on you. Think of your soul.
you're thinking about? I was thinking about the sea. Have you ever seen the sea? I must have done. I don't remember. My life didn't begin until I... Until I... Who sent you? Nobody. Is a bird? Bird. Or a tree? No, a bird. <laughs> or the wind? No, a bird. <laughs> I don't know. Do you know anything? <laughs> Can you talk to trees? No. Touch the wind. Mm. <laughs> Let's send your spirit into that tree. Where? There. There? Make it talk to us. Talk to me. Listen. Listen. They're calling your name. How did you do that? I can do lots of things. <laughs> what things? Stand up. Where are you going? Come here. Come back here. <laughs> Come in. <laughs> <laughs> Close your eyes. Close your eyes. <laughs> if, when you open your eyes, the day is sunny and bright, so shall your future be. But if the day is full of storms, so shall be your life. No. Open your eyes. I don't care. Do you hear me? I don't care. Where are you going? To have a look. Come on. Sheltered in the valley. Carpeted in crimson, the Grange, home of Edgar Linton <laughs> and Isabella, his sister. <laughs> Doesn't it make you wish you'd been adopted by the Lintons? Ah!